betrayal and confidence. It's a story that has taken the lead by storm. Did Stephen and Will conspire to give Will a chance to defeat Cody this week in the League of Extremely Squanchy Gentlemen? All we have is what we think and what we know. We know Will likes to lowball and prey on indecision and misinformation. We know Stephen likes to fuck around. We know from a reliable source that Stephen said, I don't want to do any trades this year. I want to see how my team does. We know Stephen has the Jags defense, which are admittedly pretty good. So he didn't need two great defenses. And perhaps he has his own rationale for the trade. And a one for one trade isn't too bad for defenses. Given the slim pickings on the waiver wire. We know Cody, before this trade, offered the Lions for the Broncos. Which, although the Broncos are a better real life defense, the Lions have had a better fantasy output at least in this game so far. But we also know. Cody is boisterous. He likes to shit on those that, that he defeats. Perhaps some wanted to put him in his place. Perhaps this attitude that he has puts him at a disadvantage when trading with others. This is all we have to go on so far. In the about, I think like 20 minutes since the trade happened. The question still remains. Did Stephen and Inspire to trade so that Will can beat Cody this week. Let's, do, let's dig a little deeper into the defenses. We know that the Lions defense had a much more favorable schedule than the Broncos defense going forward. I mean, look at that. We also know that the Rams defense had a much more favorable schedule than the Broncos defense going forward. So in the end, does this trade just look bad on both sides? Should they have even traded for the Broncos defense in the first place? Is this all just moot? Those who are proponents for the trade detract when called into question. As they say, given the unlimited trades that was allowed in the middle of the season, I don't see how this is any different. Well, while this only benefits one person, one party, the unlimited trades seems to benefit everyone. In the end, we never may find out what happened that day at uh, two o'clock. Did, did it happen exactly at two o'clock? I'm not. I'm not sure. But whatever. No action will be taken yet by, by the commissioner. Of the and maybe there won't ever be any action taken. There's strong evidence to the contrary, yet there's strong evidence for it. It will just be an unsquanchable mystery.